what is up, you guys? WWE fan 0599 here again, and today we're going to review episode 15 of season 3 of Arrow. And this episode is entitled Nena Par Parte Par Parme or something like that. I don't know how to pronounce it, but so what this episode is basically about. It's about, you know, um, Thea basically ratted out Malcolm to the League of Assassins, and now Oliver must get Malcolm back from the League of Assassins. Oh yeah, by the way, spoilers in this review. Yeah. So what I think of this episode? Great episode. This really was a great episode, in my opinion. So let's get into my positives, and my positives are, you know, the acting in the, this episode. The acting was really great. You know, especially the scenes with Oliver, there's this certain scene with Oliver and Diggle, where, you know, finally Diggle speaks up, you know. I feel like Diggle hasn't really spoken up about anything. He's just been very, very quiet, and even Oliver's like, you're quiet on most of this stuff. And I love the fact that he, you know, that he finally speaks out to Oliver, and Oliver, he wants to get Malcolm Orlin back and everything. He's like, you know, I'm not really... He, he is, you know, doing this for, for Thea and everything, but the main reason he's doing this is to get back at Roz. Because, you know, he feels neglected and everything, that he lost to Roz, that he, you know, lost to him, he can't stop thinking about it. also like the scenes with Roy and Thea, where Roy is like, I killed the person too. I killed, you know, I killed a cop, and now that family won't have, you know, his, his son will have a father for the rest of his life. And Thea's like, you know, you don't have to walk and see Sarah's family every single day. And then we see later on that episode that Roy, that we learn that Roy has been giving stuff to this fam to the family that he, the cop that he killed, he's been giving stuff to their, to his family. I really like that. Lily brings a lot, a lot of emotion to, towards Roy's character and this doesn't, help Thea at all. Then we see that Thea, towards the end of the episode, Natasha, who is, of course, Ra's al Ghul's daughter, who is kept captured in this episode because, yeah, and then she she's like, you know, I'm the one that killed Sarah. She unlocks the gate, hands her a sword, and we don't see what happens else, but I guess we'll probably have to find out in two weeks. And also Thea tells Laurel that I killed your sister, I was drugged. I'm glad Laurel didn't freak out on her. She was like, you know, it wasn't your fault. You weren't you weren't in control of what was going on. So she's mad at Malcolm. She tried to fight Malcolm. What a joke. Malcolm Malcolm just d demolished her. It, it was a joke. It really was. And even Oliver's like, you really think you had a chance against Malcolm Merlin? Awesome, okay, I really I really like that. So the action in this episode, the action is great. The writing with this with this episode was pretty good. I like the writing with this episode. Directing was pretty good with this episode. The flashbacks were really good as well. Even though we get, don't get too much of them, I think it's like three times throughout the episode and that's about it. Um, but I really enjoyed that, you know, in the flashbacks we see that Oliver will be able to go anywhere he wants now. You know, after telling the truth and... You know, he's about to get on a boat with, um, the family, which, who, I always forget their names, but, he goes onto the boat, but, before he gets onto the boat, everybody, their, these crew members start shooting at them, and, I guess they work for Amanda Waller, and I guess she didn't like that explanation for it, when he runs off with the kid, to get him to safety, and, yeah, we finally get to see Brandon Ralph, um, yeah, Brandon Ralph, in, the Adam suit, you know, and it's awesome, it really is, I really like seeing him in the Adam suit, you know, he's also Dane Felicity, well, kind of, yeah, um, so yeah, I really enjoyed seeing him finally get that Adam suit together and start kicking some butt, maybe, and then we have the twist ending to this episode, Raz Al Ghul says to Oliver, I want you to become the next Raz Al Ghul. What? 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 It was just like, what? What's going on? Just what was going on? It, 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 what? 
I want you to be the next Ra's al Ghul. What is this? It, it's just, wow. That, that, that was pretty shocking. I did not see that coming at all. And apparently, that's what Ra's says to Batman in, like, all the comics and stuff. So, I guess this is just replaced Bruce Wayne with Oliver Queen. <laughs> and my only negative with this episode has got to be the fact that we're all still against Oliver. We're all still going to argue against Oliver's decisions and everything. You know, listen. I may not like the fact that he's working with Malcolm Merlin, but I... Listen, I know he killed Sarah. I know he killed thousands of people in the Glade. But he really needs him to fight Ra's al Ghul. Okay, so, if you guys can't understand that, then, I mean, seriously, you got Felicity, Laurel, everybody's arguing with him. And it's just becoming, let's argue against Oliver, the show, you know, it just seems like that at some point. So, yeah, I just don't really like that, how they're just always against Oliver all the time now. So, overall, this was a great episode. I really enjoyed this episode of Arrow. It was great. It's time for my official grade on episode 15, and my official grade on episode 15 is an A. So what did you guys think of this episode? Leave in the comment section below, and I'm WWE Fan 0599 and we will see you all later. Peace.